What's up class? A belated Happy New Year to everyone. So you might have been wondering where I've been for the last month or so. Well, let me explain everything and then tell you some changes that are coming to the channel this year. Changes that I think many of you will appreciate, actually. So before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button as that's free and helps out in a big way. Oh, and for the background footage here, I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3. Combat is turn-based, so it's probably not something I'm going to record for the channel, but it's a really good-looking game. So I figured it'd be nice to run around and check out the beautiful scenery during this homeroom announcements video. So let's get to it. So part of this video is a tiny bit of a pity party, but I'm sure you'll understand why things have gotten delayed. So I ran into some end of the year tragedies that got me a bit mired in the proverbial quicksand, but you know, nothing ever really slows me down. I always try to see the positive in life events and find ways to grow from it, but there's no denying that some of these things can take some time in working themselves out. First thing that happened is that my mom had a stroke right after Thanksgiving. Fortunately, it was a small stroke and she survived, but it, you know, it was quite a scare for a few weeks. As a result, she's now in memory rehabilitation and hospice care. If anyone out there is dealing with or has dealt with aging parents, you know how stressful that can be. I also went through a relationship breakup. It only lasted a year, but like many of you might, I consider that a decent amount of time. I don't talk about my personal life much on the channel, but I was fairly depressed after it ended because, you know, I put so much effort and emotional energy into something and I felt like it was doomed to fail. And when it was over, you know, and you're in that funk, it's hard to focus, as you can imagine. I've also been cat hunting. <laughs> By that, I mean I've been looking to adopt a cat from a shelter. I've had pets all my life, and this is the longest I've gone without an animal companion, so to speak. Now, there are too many barking dogs in my apartment building already, so I'm probably going with a cat. And you've probably noticed from my Fallout 4 builds that I always add a cat to the settlement. Anyway, something cute and cuddly to cheer me up. I mentioned that for two reasons. <laughs> Uh, it's actually quite the process to adopt a cat these days. In LA, cats aren't allowed to be sold in pet stores, and the adoption process requires filling out applications, phone interviews, in-home tours, and all kinds of time-consuming administrative work. I completely understand because, you know, they want to make sure pets are going into good homes and all that, but I just wasn't expecting all the time it took to jump through all the hoops. I also mention this because you might hear some meows in the background of my video in the future. Lastly, my technical curse hasn't waned. Bethesda recently did a massive update to Starfield in an attempt to fix a lot of bugs and improve the various quality of life features. Unfortunately, the moment I opened the game after the update downloaded and installed, I was unable to use the A button to interact with anything anymore. It also stopped letting me fast travel and gave me an error message that said I couldn't fast travel when jumping or falling. I could still walk around normally, so obviously I wasn't jumping or falling, but it completely broke the game. To make matters worse, no matter how many earlier saves I went back to, the issue didn't correct itself. So as of now, my game is completely broken and unplayable. And I'm not going to go through another 75 levels to get where I was at by starting completely over again. Therefore, Starfield gets shelved and it's back to Fallout 4. So there you have it, folks. Back to Fallout 4 full time. For those of you who are excited about more Starfield content, I'm really sorry about that. Although I'm disappointed in Bethesda's handling of their game development over the last few years, there's no denying that Fallout 4 is definitely a legacy game. No matter what game you're currently playing, it's always fun and maybe even a little zen to come back to some Fallout 4 building once in a while. And finishing the main storyline will at least allow me to check that off my life's to-do list, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to be rid of 2023 and I'm hoping for some better luck in 2024. Either way, I'm ready for some new adventures and I hope you're with me. See you in the next video. As always, love, peace, knowledge. Mm -hmm.